I've had a lot of requests over the past year or so about doing another Why I Own a Gun video. And you know it's funny because it's not like you can just make this stuff up. I guess you could, but you know, all of these things that I talk about are true things that have happened, at least to me or my family. And I had been planning on doing something, but something happened this past week that really led me to do this today. Monday, I was around the house and uh, my niece called and said that somebody had stopped by her house uh, looking to do some replacement windows and asking a lot of strange questions and they left and within just a few minutes a deputy sheriff stopped by and said um, have you had any visits from a guy of this description and of course they had so she calls us and just says hey just be on the lookout they live about a couple of miles from us so a little later I'm running up to the post office and as I'm driving, I had the radio on, and the news came on, said there was a standoff up at a local DMV, not too far from where I live. Come to find out when the details were out, there was a guy that had been robbing places, breaking and entering into places around our area, and the police had had a chase and chased him down to the DMV where there was a shootout. Uh, the uh, perpetrator shot one shot, and then seven deputies opened up on him. Uh, of course, the perpetrator died. But come to find out, the guy, of course, had been in and out of jail, been in trouble for years. And so, you know, this is this incident that happened just right here in my back door. Now, as I was looking up the story that I was just relating that happened just right around where I live, I was looking up a, the paper, an article in the paper about it, so I could make sure I got the details correct. And while I was looking, I came across a story that happened just last week where a man and his wife and a friend of theirs were sitting in an apartment. He was 50. They were in their 50s. Uh, two guys that were armed busted the door down as a home invasion, came in, herded them into the bathroom, stole a bunch of stuff, and then left. Now, there were no injuries involved in this. The man himself, in his 50s, actually died of a heart attack. You need to stand for your freedoms. You need to protect the Second Amendment. That is the only thing that keeps good men able to protect themselves and defend those they love. If you saw in the national news where in Spartanburg County here in South Carolina, which is the county just over from us, the uh, sheriff got on the news and said the justice system is just not working, folks. Arm yourselves, go get your CCW, and protect yourselves. You know, if a law enforcement agent is telling you that, then you probably need to at least have caution. You know, gun ownership is not for everyone. Some people are not going to necessarily use it. But the responsibility of self-defense is on you. And the responsibility of self-defense also rests on you because of your family. You know, I'm here, I have a family, I work from home a lot, so I am around the house. And many times, in fact, when I first sat down to do this video, I realized that I had left my Smith & Wesson Model 442 in my shop. And I went back to get it. Because as I'm sitting here, someone could pull up in the driveway to rob our place, and I would be completely uh, unarmed and in a very disadvantage to protect my family and those that I love. One of the things that I've been doing lately is making sure that uh, I'm armed at all times. You know, and some people might think that that's nuts. Um, you know, I really enjoy guns. I enjoy the hobby. I like to shoot. I like self-defense things. I like to, I just enjoy that kind of stuff. And so part of that is just because of who I am. But I begin to realize that it's becoming a necessity more than just four kicks. Now, I realize that a lot of my viewers are from different parts of the world. And most of those places do not really allow self-defense, especially a lethal self-defense. You can go to jail for defending yourself. Honestly, self-defense is a basic human right. You have a right to eat, you have a right to drink, you have freedoms. But yet you don't have freedom to protect yourself in case you are attacked violently. You know, there's an old saying, it says, evil prevails when good men do nothing. You know, I'm not really sure what's going on in the world today, but I'm telling you this, crime is on the rise. You, as a responsible citizen, need to take a step. Be courageous, be brave, and be bold, and stand for your families. You know, crime happens all around, and there are many people that are victims. You just have to choose whether to be the victim or the victor. 
And you know, just having a gun doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to prevail, but at least it gives you a fighting chance. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. All right, so you ready? Fight!